everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a surprise Friday What's Sold. Yes! We had a really, really good sale on Mercari come through. So we're like, we got to tell the people, right? We're here. Uh, we also had some viewer sales again. Thank you. So much. You actually really don't have to purchase stuff for us, but thank you. <laughs> One viewer tried to purchase stuff for us and we didn't have it. Mm. So the multi-quantity thing, we'll talk about that on Vendu, yeah. is great, but it's been kind of messing with us Something's... as the kinks get worked out. They just introduced this and we'll talk about it. Yeah. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We come at you and tell you what's sold for us every day if anything sells. <laughs> Almost. Uh, today, I think was, I think we're at 12 or 13. So that's good. That's great. Way better than it's been. Uh, we did try to reset our sale last night. That was a nightmare. Yeah, you guys still kind of having some issues. So the people in our live, bless them, <laughs> convinced us to up our sale, like the promotion. So yep. we we're gonna do a twenty five percent or thirty percent off sale because we normally do fifteen, and like our sales are really slow. You know the roller coaster. We talked about it yesterday. Yep. And so we went to do it last night. And only, for whatever reason, yeah. only grabbed about 400 of our 2,400 listings. eBay said, no ma'am. And then I tried to cancel <laughs> and end it, and it was... Then he tried to talk to support uh, today. It was, it was rough. So we lasted all night with basically no sale on, which is unlike us. It's on now, though. It's on now. I had to start a new one, but I got it working. And so hopefully we get more sales for tomorrow and over the weekend. But we yep. had some good stuff we wanted to show you. Yeah. Not not the best like the best sellers, but some really good brands that I want to bring up. I know we have a lot of new subscribers, and right. some of these brands you hear me talk about. Yep. All right. All right. Let's start with Macari. Let's do the banger. Macari. This is a banger for sure. So get your white pants. We've been talking about this for about a month now. List your white pants. These are Ralph Lauren. We have thirteen oh five into these pants, Woo. and there's a reason we have thirteen oh five into them. What's that? What's they that are the purple label Ralph yes. Lauren. This is the collection. And hopefully you can see that. Yeah, that's very nice. These are size 10. The purple label is the top of the line. The tippity tippity top. The black label is right below it, but the purple is the top of the line. Don't listen to anybody else. You heard <laughs> it here. <laughs> These I is keep... facts, people. <laughs> facts. Okay. Uh, I don't have the title for this. These are linen, I think. They are white linen dress pants so all of those things being the purple tag Ralph Lauren being white yeah white pants are so trending right now Your title on Mercari says Ralph Lauren purple label size 10 white linen blend pant button fly wide leg cuff all of those things are super trending there's this vanilla girl trend don't like the name but I do like the trend <laughs> of wearing monochromatic shades of white and bougie beige bougie beige we have coined that term here at the hustle HQ and is I that, want is you that term trademark oh yeah Dangle trademark hustle oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> and so then you can get that into your head when you're thrifting whether or not to pick something up based on the factors here that are making this a worthwhile pickup right Linen blend, mm -hmm. wide leg, yep. Ralph Lauren collection, mm, so really, nice. really nice stuff. Yeah. And the cuff at the bottom is just like the cherry on top. Yep. Uh, these sold for one hundred fifty dollars. One hundred fifty bones. Very nice. Come on, Mercari. Right. Love that because the fees are less on Mercari, and they paid for. We are sending this FedEx, whatever it is now. Smart post. It, I don't think they call it that anymore. They do. I think they do. No, not on Mercari. Not when I'm listing. They don't call it that. Well, anymore. that's what the label says. Yeah. It is still Smart Post, but they call it FedEx. Home to something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. Home delivery or something. But it is Smart Post. It takes a while to get there. There's just not really many other options on Mercari FedEx right now. FedEx ground economy. That's what that's they call what it. Called. I don't like sending $150 pants ground economy. I don't love that. But I also don't love free shipping, which mm -hmm. would be the other option. Yeah. Or charging somebody like 20 bucks to get a pair of pants from the UPS, I mean USPS. Yeah. Okay, anyway, $150, yay! Okay, next is something that Maggie sent us. She sent us free inventory. Yeah, gotta We love listed it. it immediately. Right. This is Denim and Supply, another Ralph so, Lauren brand. Maggie wins the week, Maggie for sure. 
wins the week. Because she sent us free inventory that is awesome and sold overnight. And she bought stuff from us yesterday. I know. Thank you. Thank you. And she got week. me this job sock. Look. She wins, Yo. wins the week. That's what you call a triple header. What do you call it? Yeah. Triple. Something. Good. Strikes. <laughs> <laughs> trifecta yes, that's the word, word. y'all it came to me okay hat trick hat trick all right y'all were telling me the tag is supposed to look like this so i left it and it sold so maybe you're right maybe you're right it looked a little dinge i did not attempt to fix it based on your comments and uh it sold this is a lace mesh top this is super nice for it is great. We love selling denim and supply. This sold for $15, which I did send out a pretty aggressive offer. Okay. This was from yesterday because we were trying to get stuff moving. And when that happens, I think I listed this at like probably 26 or 28 bucks. Yeah. And then it was on sale, kind of. And then I sent an aggressive offer at $15 just to get stuff moving. Especially, here's your hot tip. Hot tip. New stuff that you list is the hottest it's ever going to be. Right? Uh, right, four ounces. So, when you send an aggressive offer, I would prioritize sending an aggressive offer on something mm. new. Okay. Because it's already hot. We do not promote new items. We only promote, we refresh our promotions every three days. Yep. So, for the first three days, we let eBay take over because they kind of self promote new listings. Yeah. New listings. So send aggressive offers on those new listings because they're already hot and you don't have to pay promotions on them. You're basically getting like a free offer built in. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yep. So that's what we do. And we try to get, and then the algorithm's like, ooh, <laughs> they're, they're putting out hot things. People are buying them like hotcakes. And then you, you kind of build on that. Right. I'm not going in order, so I need to find this. Excuse yeah, you me. you are. Oh, yes, I am. You are. What is it, four ounces? Yeah. That's unfortunate. See, once it's four ounces, it might as well be eight. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Well, 7.9. Okay. We got a little bundle. This is a viewer sale. Yes. Yay! And also, the cutest little bundle I ever did see. All right. We're going to thank Melanie for this because it's awesome yeah. that she wants to. She's a lurker. You got you. I love the lurkers. <laughs> so if you don't know, a lurker is someone that watches us daily and or the live channel. We have another channel. And they don't say anything. But they're always there. And the reason I love lurkers so much is because I'm a lurker. She is. I lurk on people's videos. Sometimes I watch them every day. I haven't been watching YouTube lately, but I used to be like a supreme lurker. So <laughs> they have a very special place in my heart. This is a Madewell wrap top star scatter medium size light peach coral three quarter sleeves. Girl, if this was my size, exactly right. you know I love a star. Yep. Okay. I will wear anything if it has stars on it. I'm going to show you this pattern. I consider this to be a little bit of a novelty print. Yeah, for sure. And I always pick up novelty print. And the Madewell stuff that has a little bit more going for it, not the t-shirts. If it's a, a cool style, like this is a wrap top, meaning mm. that you like wrap it and then tie it, I think. Oh. And I love those kind of shirts. And they do better for us than the just regular basics in Madewell. Um, this sold for $25. $26, excuse me. Okay. And we have $3.99 into it. <clears throat> okay, you ready for the next one? And the yeah, next I'm just one put that inside the shirt. is cosmetics. This is mellow. Look, actually, I have one of these. This is a really great color. I had two, so one of them got listed. Mellow cosmetics, and this is the color Saint Tropez. Ah, oh, it's a nice rosy shade. And I got this from a beauty subscription. And I got it in two boxes, so I put one up for sale. All right. Fantastic. I'm just going to stick this guy in here. Okay, so the title was Mellow Cosmetics Liquid Lip Gloss Saint Tropez Brand New Inbox Vegan. If you are selling health and beauty and it is vegan and or cruelty free, those if you have characters left over, that is always something I include in the title. Because many people like myself are looking for that. Truth. Um, Seven. And even if you aren't looking for that personally, other, other. people are. Yep. And so you want to try to grab those people in sales. Thank you so much, Melanie, for all of your support financially and from watching our videos. Yes, thank you. The next is my girl. So I have a couple girls. One of them is Eileen Fisher, and the other one is Anne Fontaine. 
I'm going to show you the brand tag again in case you ever find this because it looks basic. It does. This is a black tank top. I did take a lower offer on this, but if you see it, you should pick it up every single time. Anne Fontaine is known for her white button-down shirts and basic undergarments like this camisole that is just black. <laughs> but this little black camisole sold for $20. That was a low offer. I had yeah. it listed for 40 And like I said, we were trying to get stuff moving. We pick up Anne Fontaine every single time. And the greatest part is that if it's not a boutique thrift store, most most thrift still know about it. So it's yeah. like a dollar. It's it's amazing. It's a really, really good brand. Check it out. Pick this it came up. from an estate sale, so we got six fifty nine into it. Six fifty nine. But we also got some really substantial Anne Fontaine pieces that have sold for a lot of money. Yeah. So it, it all kind of evens out in the wash, as they say. Four ounces. The next thing we listed last night, and it is another one of our favorite brands to sell. Yes. I'm going to actually open this up and try to show you the brand tag okay. because it is unassuming. You would look at this and be like, that is cheap from Hot Topic. And you would be correct. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I don't think it's cheap. I don't know if it's cheap. But uh, it looks a little bit cheap sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, this one looks like all wash-worn, but I think it's supposed to look like that. It's, like, way in there. Well, we might as well just go for it. It's it's important enough to show you the tag, because we do see it at the thrift quite a bit. So this is a hoodie. It's men's. And it's just black and, like, I don't know, kind of punk rock. It's got studs on the hood, and it's got, these are called grommets. It's got grommets right here. That's what that's called. It's actually, this is grommet tape. Anyway, you don't even know. Okay, here's the brand. Trip NYC. And this is the men's there you go. Trip NYC. We buy every single thing. Yep. Even if it's a basic pair of jeans in a size 23 petite, we buy it. <laughs> and we sell it. Uh, our sell-through rate on this is incredible. And the more, like, punk rocky, the better. The yeah. more strappy. Spiky. <laughs> yeah. riv rivety. <laughs> plaid like Avril Lavigne would wear it back in 2003 that's what I'm talking about so this this is sold at Hot Topic I don't know if they still sell it I don't, I don't know uh people in England buy this from us a lot so definitely if you're gonna list tri trip NYC put your international option on um the title was trip NYC men size large black chain studded full zip goth punk bondage rare hoodie there was a sold comp on this that I did copy, and that one sold for 50 So, of course, I listed mine for 89 <laughs> <laughs> But in two hours, we got an offer for 68 and I couldn't hit except fast enough. Seriously? Because right, the comp this, was 50 knew this thing was going to sell quickly. Uh, so, if you can find Trip NYC, we find it a lot. Um, and when I say a lot, we found it maybe like 10 times. That's pretty good, though. Yeah. I just don't know if you would necessarily just pick randomly, it up. Just randomly, like, quote, yeah. in the wild? Because <laughs> you might think, like, oh, that's wash-worn. That's okay. Yeah. Like, pick oh, that looks like it's been run over by pick, my pick car. <laughs> Get it. 68 bucks, man. Yeah, in man. two hours. Padded flat rate. Love it. Padded flat rate. Also, Maggie sent us trip at NYC. Remember, she knows. She knows. Okay, the next is also a Bolo brand. <clears throat> That's why we want to do this video. We don't normally do Friday videos. Yeah, you get lucky today. We just had all these Bolo brands that we needed to share. I don't like to miss them. And we missed one video this week because we had nothing to ship, so here's your bonus. Yeah, there you go. We're making up for it. <clears throat> this is a snow day video. <laughs> <laughs> this is a men's brand from Santa Monica, California called Johnny O. This is what the tag looks like. There's a couple of... Keep going with what you're going to say. I've been seeing this a lot at Nordstrom Rack. This brand. It's still pricey there. Yeah. But... Same with Robert Graham. And there's a lot of... Yeah. This has come down in value quite a bit. But this did sell for $39.95, which was our full asking price. This is so... a ladies one, though, isn't it? Is it ladies? Yeah, four, 14 Ah, this is a ladies. They do make ladies, but it's a Johnny O's. It's kind of like Robert Graham. They make ladies stuff too, but it's more of a men's brand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Johnny O. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not ladies. No, you are incorrect. Wait, Am I incorrect? You and April were both incorrect. Is it a boys or something? It's a, a youth. <laughs> Johnny O. Youth size 14 Sully Mock Neck Quarter Zip Pullover Hoodie. So in the label of, in the tag, it said, so what happens is April takes the pictures, she makes a draft, and it said women's, and then... I was like, this can't be a women's. I looked at the measurements. And so I typed in JBK01460, which was the style number. Okay. And it came up with the youth. Uh, it's smart. a youth 14, which would be the equivalent of like a women's extra small. But okay. you can't put women's 14 because that's a completely different size. It really is. So I yes. did list it in the youth department and it sold for full price for $39.95. Yes. Fantastic. 11 ounces. All right, the next is something I bought on Instinct and in Pulse. <laughs> so hopefully, where is it? You didn't pull it. It's a box. Oh, it's a box. What is wrong with me? I don't know. 4520. I'm not doing my job. 4520. 4520. I love this piece. I hope whoever finds it loves it as much. Y'all, just I'm just going to give you a while Dan's pulling that. We sold this guy. Another one of them. We should have put this in the video yesterday and we would have gotten all the sales ever. What are you talking about? The German worry eater. Yeah. So when you're worried, we sold one of these before, you just open his mouth and you just put your worries in there and you zip it up and you go to sleep and all your worries go away. Is that not the cutest concept for a plush you ever heard in your whole life? This is from Germany. I don't think that they even sell these in the States. I don't but we, think so. We had two of them. I, I, yeah, it was the weirdest thing. I had to buy them. Of course you have to buy them. When you see a weird thing like this, you at least got to look it up. And then when you found out it was a worry eater, we were both like, oh, oh so cute. <laughs> Whenever we go to Germany next, if you don't know, Jan Dan's German, so we go to Germany. We've got to we got to stock up on these. I need them for my own life. All right. We should have put our worries in this yesterday. Should have, yeah. I'll, I'll call my cousin and see if she can get in. I'll call Bodo. Yeah. Maybe we could just become an ex Hey, don't steal our ideas. Hey, get out of get our away. business meeting. This is private confidential business. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. That idea is trademark a hustle couple ink. Show them this. This is Indigo Moon. Boom. And it's new with tags. How are you and not going to buy this, right? I know. It's from QVC. I buy everything that looks like this. Yep. I, I just do. Because in my soul, I want to be this, this is, person. <laughs> this is what her soul looks like right here. Anyway, uh, the Indigo Moon had a good selfie array, so I bought it. Indigo Moon, women's size medium, QVC, patchwork, button-down, art-to-wear jacket. Brand new with tags. And we have into it $4.99. I believe I bought this straight up at a thrift. I think I just bought it, which is rare. Normally, it's a state sale or something like that with, with this kind of thing. Man, the weirder things you can find at estate sales, like the dresses that are from the 90s that have, like, painting on them and fish and, like weirdo wackadoo look them up because there is a market out there yeah this sold for thirty dollars plus 8.99 shipping awesome. yay padded flat rate envelope Okay, the next thing that sold, obviously, everybody take a guess. What brand is it? Mm, mm, Eileen Fisher. Eileen Fisher. Um, I saw a post about Eileen Fisher today in like Poshmark Thrifters on uh -huh. Facebook. I was like, are we still picking this up? It doesn't move for me. No, we're not. Nope, nope, nope. No, we'll, we'll take it. Send it to us. <laughs> um, I talk about this all the time, and you guys make fun of us because we sell Eileen Fisher every day. But find what you can sell every day. It might be Talbots, or it might be Ralph Lauren polo jean shorts. I don't know what it is. Find what you want to sell and sell the heck out of it. Yeah, man. I'm not advocating niching down. I'm ever I'm advocating becoming an expert in something and get a lot of it and sell all of it. And make all the money. Uh, this I have some style things I want to tell you about this. Okay. This is gorgeous. Is if you see this guy. and you go to buy it and you're like, that's just a tank top. Well, in fact, it is. <clears throat> okay. This is more than just an average tank top. And that means you can charge more money for it. All right. 
Okay, the title I put was Eileen Fisher, size medium, scoop neck, black silk stretch jersey tank tunic length system. Okay, hold. Sure. We're going to talk about all the things. Okay, this is not a tunic top. A tunic top would have a split right here. This is a tunic length, meaning it's not a camisole. So you need to note that, that this is going to go low, but it's also cut a little bit wider down here to fit around the hips, but it will be a fitted thing, not a tunic. A tunic would flow. This is going to be fitted. The system is the capsule wardrobe system that Eileen Fisher is famous for. If you can fit the word system and you have a basic Eileen Fisher piece, put it in the title, particularly at the end in all caps. That's what I do and it helps. This is a stretch jersey silk, which is incredibly high quality. To get silk to stretch like this, that's something special, okay? This is also a crepe. It has like a tooth to it. It doesn't feel smooth. Not all silk is smooth. It depends on how they take the silk fiber made from a worm and how they make it into a garment. This has a tooth to it. It feels, um, what do you say, like textured. Yeah. So... All of these things mean it's a really high quality garment. Stretch silk is very desirable and people will pay good money for it. So as soon as yeah, you when get... You, when you feel it at first, you're, you'd be like, there's no way this is 100% silk. It does not feel like silk. It feels like, um, what do you call like, like uh, athletic wear. What do you call that? It feels a little bit like yoga pants. A yeah. little bit. Um, it has... The reason I'm going over all of this with you is one, you guys like it, and two, <laughs> I don't want you to underprice it. If you found this and you just thought it was a camisole and sold it for $20 and maybe took a $15 offer, you'd be selling yourself short because yeah. this is really special. I mean, the retail on this is probably, what, over 100 bucks? Probably. Um, this sold for thirty nine ninety five, which I believe was our full asking price and is worth every single penny of that. And whoever's buying this knows that. So you price it fairly and you sell it fairly. I did do a big rigmarole on our live the other night if you ever want to catch i don't know if you know this but you can watch the lives after the fact on the mm -hmm. other channel so if you want some working with you we do them for three hours now so you can just put it on in the background while you work and maybe that's your three hour work window try that um where i think people are pricing their eileen fisher too low and people aren't buying it and there are some people in the chat that agreed mm -hmm. because they wear eileen fisher and they think something's wrong with it or they don't know what they're talking about the sellers you know if they price that at like 11 dollars, but if they price it at 39.95 and say someone has a brown version of that and they want the exact same thing and they know they paid 120 at the store right they're more likely to be like the 39.95 one like yeah i mean that's the good that's the better one right there's a perceived value there. So maybe sure. try that out with your Eileen Fisher. Um, the Anne Fontaine piece probably costs more retail and resells for less. So that's something to keep in mind. The Eileen Fisher in the US at least tends to hold its value a little bit better. Um, the, the Anne Fontaine was also a more simple piece and it had acetate and you know man-made fibers in it. This is silk. We're in a different league. Yeah. Five ounces. So I guess the moral of the story and the hot tip, hot tip is to look look up your fibers and your fabric. It matters. Yep. Definitely. <clears throat> All right. This is the Schmidt Sago Worry Eater Nine Inch Plush German. New a tag circa 2019. So they might still have these. I really am gonna look into this. Don't steal our idea, people. Get away. This sold. Here, let's do a thumbnail. I love how we do it in the middle of the video. We're so profesh. It sold no for idea. 50 bucks. 50 bucks, this man. guy. I think the right. last one we sold, sold for like 80. I think that's correct. Yeah. Here's the what the tag one. looks like. I actually originally, when we saw this, thought it was like an ugly doll. It kind of looks like an ugly doll. But it doesn't, ugly dolls don't have the zipper mouth where you put your worries, do they? <laughs> no, they don't. All right. Oh, where's he going? Germany. No, I don't know. He's going home. He's going to Vermont. Vermont. All right. Oh, the person's middle name is Berlin. Okay. Get in there. Okay. Uh, the next thing. Where did this come from? <laughs> the bins. I think this was bins. 
think I picked it up in the bins video that you guys saw. We are in Dallas, Texas. So we come across a lot of Western wear, particularly vintage Western wear. Yep. And that is not our forte. We don't pick a lot of it up because we don't know what we're doing. That was bins for sure. Yep. This we picked up because it was 99 cents because we got it at the bins. And it looked cool, and if nothing else, someone could use it for a costume. Yep. But we don't really know what it is. I'm just just trying to be honest. And it says it was made in China, and that didn't sit well with Where's me either. Where's the ticket for the plush? Right. Um, yeah. But this is a leather vest. And the reason we picked it up, like I said, is because of the style and because of the quality. Even though it was made in China, it feels really nice. It's fully lined. These are some factors I'm telling you that you can use to evaluate whether to pick something up. Yep. The brand, I don't know that it's anything. Cripple Creek. I looked up comps though and there was sold comps. There was sold comps. We wouldn't have listed it otherwise. And it's just like a really classic Western vest. This branded buttons were also a factor that was like, hey, that's cool. Yeah. And anyway, so this sold really quickly. It sold within two weeks, which is in retail world good. We have 99 cents into it, and it sold for uh, 22.46, which tells me they used one of our coupons. Yep. Uh, six ounces for the push. The next is something going to a viewer named Cheryl. Thank you so much. She left us a really nice note. She said, consider this me buying you guys a coffee. Plus I dig the pants. I love that. I've learned so much from your videos in just a few weeks of watching. So there is new people, yes. our new people here. That's great. And we're really thankful for you. So thank you. These are Cold Water Creek black leggings athleisure full length the whole deal i bought a ton of these at an estate sale we only have 46 cents into these and i picked up a gray pair a red pair most of them have sold yeah the black pair didn't maybe people already had the black pair cheryl i think you're gonna love these we get great feedback on every single pair that we mm -hmm. sell these were listed in february and they sold for 26.95 Nice. The vest was in a pad of flat, right? Yep. Thank you so much for your support and for watching us every day. That's the best. We appreciate you. you get a mini thank you sticker. There you go. <laughs> oh, I forgot this sold. Mm. What do you know? What a padded flat rate. Okay, this I just relisted yesterday and it sold yesterday. So relist your items. We pick up Vineyard Vines ties a lot when they have a novelty print. They do very, very well for us with novelty prints. Here's what the tag looks like. You guys know we sell ties all the time, but particularly Vineyard Vines when they have like, these are little turtles. Uh, Hermes also makes novelty print ties that do really well for us. Um, Vineyard Vines Turtles Pink Men's Neck, neck Excuse me mm -hmm. Necktie <laughs> Anyway, whatever Made in the USA is in the title And all the measurements It sold for $25 And that was our full asking price I believe Or no, I sent an offer I had relisted it for $26.95 And then I sent a $25 offer I don't get too aggressive with When the profits are lower like that But $25 for a tie is pretty good Yeah What do we, what do we have into it? Um, I don't know. Well, where's the ticket? I also don't know. Well, you took it off the black thing? There wasn't a ticket on there. Oh, really? Really. Well, maybe I mean, I can't imagine we have more than a dollar ninety nine into it. Yeah, we normally pay about two bucks for ties, or less. If it's half off day, we probably got on. We haven't thrifted on full price day in... Ever. Ever. Years. <laughs> so, every time we say something, it's probably half of that, actually. We make these tickets that we put on our stuff. If you want to see a video, we have one or two or three. Sometimes we lose them. Wait, we lose them? Oh, this is not trash. 
don't know where it went. Anyway, we'll just make a new one. No big D. It's fine. Yeah. So 25 bucks and going to Virginia. Uh, what was the Coldwater Creek? It was in a padded fly rate. Okay. We do bulk shipping. You guys make sure to use your store coupons. Yes. Alert. Before they expire. And if you always forget about your store coupon, just join our Facebook group. It's called the Reseller Workroom. The Hustle Couple Reseller Workroom. It's free. It's a great group. And Ruth always reminds, reminds us yeah. in the group. She's like, everybody. It's reason enough to join the group alone. Plus, it's a group of about a thousand people that are super nice, supportive, and... Um, is it a thousand people? It's now? almost a thousand people. What? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. They answer all the questions, all levels are welcome. Come on over. Oh, I want to also shout out Cameron's channel. Yeah, let's give a shout out to Cameron. Cameron is so close to having a thousand subscribers on YouTube. If you enjoy our content, you will enjoy his content over at Gravity Goods. We'll try to link his channel down below if Dan can remember. If not, please remind us. <laughs> Uh, we just sent him some birthday presents, and he made a video about us today. It was so cute. So but cute. really, really valuable content, especially in the hard goods sector. And we don't do a lot of hard goods, so if you need something to balance it out, he's so close to being monetized over there. And once you get monetized for YouTube, it's not a ton of money. Like, you, everybody but thinks every we make, like... helps. Right, because you spend your time on it. You so do. if he's putting out information and you guys get value from it, let's get over there and subscribe. He's like... Yeah, let's push him over the edge. So close. You can do it. All right, the last thing is going to a freight forwarder. And I know this because of the address. And <laughs> it says, import, export, Federico, dock number 40. There you go. In Florida. I don't care. Don't care. Some people on the eBay thrifters are always like, is this a scam? No, definitely not. Uh, it's a freight forwarder. It's fine. This is vintage Jimboree. I was alerted to pick this up. We have 59 cents into this. Alerted to pick up vintage Jimboree from my friend Chelsea. This is from 2002. Jimbury actually has... It's vintage. Oh, my God. Vintage. It's vintage. Oh. vintage means 20 years old. So it's uh, 2002. It's vintage. It can drink. This thing can drink. <laughs> Here's what the tag looks like. The vintage Jimbury tags are, like, really thick and nicely made. They do have the date on them most times. And this is a ditzy floral print. It's just a little shirt. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you that title. Vintage. That's how I started it. Jimbury, 2002, baby girl, 18 to 24 months, ivory, floral, ditzy, short sleeve, top. And this sold for $17.95. Three ounces. The reason I love freight forwarders is for most of the time for us, it's a full price sale. That's true. Yes. I also want to give a shout out to Jennifer over at... Um, um, th uh, teacher thrift VA. Which way does it go? Mm. Thrift. French. Fr mm -hmm. French teacher. Sure. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I have all. You trying to do the YouTube name or? I know. I don't want to give her. I know her real name. French teacher VA. That's what it is. French. That sounds right. That sounds right. I gotta check. Oh, here we go. I gotta check. So uh, she ordered something from us on Poshmark, and this is what I was going to talk to you about. We didn't have it. Because of the multi-quantity listing thing in Vendue, it messed up on us, and that's what had happened. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to shout out our YouTube channel because it's very valuable. It's the least I can do since we didn't have your item. French teacher in VA. In. You forgot the in. I knew all the close. parts of it. Yeah, you got it. Uh... Yeah, French teacher in VA. She does hauls that are really, really valuable, and she's been putting comps up. I'm so thankful when people do that. So she is also a YouTube channel. We will link down below for valuable content. Our Roomba's going. This is might get this might get crazy in here. Um, I won't ever link anything that I don't feel is <laughs> credible or valuable for you. There's that. All right. All right. Labels ready. Alright, I am putting this up here. I'm not quite ready. I'm just talking too much. Um, also, Gretchen's channel. We'll link Gretchen's channel too. We'll link all the channels. Um, she is the Restless Thrifter. Also, very valuable content. 
that will add value to your reselling life. And if you ever want to link your channel or promote yourself, if I don't know you have a channel, put it in our Facebook group. There's only one rule. In our Facebook group, you can self-promote. It's all good. You just can't be an a-hole. We've only right. had one out of a thousand. We've only had one. It's fine. Everyone complies with the rule. All right. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm getting my IKEA bag staged now. Okay. Seven three four two. Uh, Vendu does know about the multi-quantity issue and we have reached out to them and they have supposedly fixed it. What's happening is it's not accurately delisting in like it should. And we had two of the shirts that Jennifer was trying to order. We sold one on eBay, one on Poshmark, and it didn't catch 2287 up. Bundle. You know what I'm trying to say? It didn't catch up. Oh man, I can hear Mega Maid out there. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you. Uh, next up, 7205. I like to go thrifting sometimes just for ourselves. 7407, padded flat rate. We need to refund Melanie some shipping. Okay. Six seven seven two. We've been getting the lowest offers of all time on Poshmark. I mean of all time. Padded flat rate four five two zero. I just started declining them, I don't care. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like know what you mean. Five dollars. We would have made one dollar on this men's YSL sport coat. Oh. We would have lost money because I cost the business. Yeah, exactly. Over a dollar. Come on, Jay. What's happening here? Seven two five four. Three, four, six, plush. We put plush in a box if, if it has a tag. And we get our boxes from our neighbors. They're all really cool. Yeah. We just leave them on our porch. We're like, okay, sweet. Don't love having that on there. Oh. Sorry. No, it's, it wasn't a label. It was just yeah. like our neighbor's address. 6893. We've, we've assured them that we would take off all identifying markers. Yes. So I don't want to do that. I took off the big label. Yeah, I just forgot about that one. 6305 padded flat rate. Five five eight four. The tie. This box is like you're not good. That does not fit together well at all. Look at that. Yeah. These are the eBay boxes. Your supplier must have changed or something. That looks terrible. Wow. Terrible. Oh my god, the vacuum's <laughs> coming in here. Oh, we gotta hurry. <laughs> five three five. Oh. Gotta keep cleaning here. Oh my god, it's coming. Oh god, oh god. Alright, we'll be back in just a minute to show you how much we made today. Yes! And I'll turn, I'll turn the vacuum off. Oh my god, oh, it's coming. Oh gosh. <coughs> it's gonna hit the camera. Oh, oh! <laughs> the benefits of shipping earlier. 
you get sleepy kitties. Good boy, Jeremy. Oh. <laughs> Picnic. Did you decide you wanted treats? Uh oh. Jeremy, you want to show people your trick? Come on. Good boy. Hi. Hey. Still working on this bookkeeping. Okay, Some okay. Some people like to see this. Yeah. 863 profit on the Anne Fontaine. Not great, but there it is. All right. It's because the cost of biz is pretty yeah, We'll high. show the people how the Vendu interface works. Let me just get rid of these tabs of people's genealogy. No, yeah, you can't see Okay, um, 7407. So I type in the inventory number. It comes up. Trip NYC. Just listed it yesterday. Mark is sold. Seventy six ninety nine was all in, so the price they paid plus shipping. Okay. I get that on the all transactions tab on eBay. Cost of goods was six forty six. Marketplace fees ten thirty three. And eight thirty four. What we actually paid for shipping, and then it gives us the profit up here fifty one ninety. Nice. Great. So great. And it's just so quick because it delists from everything. It wasn't cross listed, but other things are. Yeah. Like this was is on eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. So when I go to Mark as sold, it will automatically delist from the other platforms. Forty four ninety four is what they paid. Cost of goods was ninety nine cents. The marketplace fees were ten thirteen. This did sell promoted at eight percent. So that's the final value fee and the promotion fee added together. Yep. And we actually paid five seventeen to ship it, and our profit was twenty eight sixty five on that guy. That's great for a youth. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, this Indigo <clears throat> Moon Jacket was 7254. That's perfect. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong tag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 4520. There it is. Mark as sold. So Vendu is an extension on Chrome, Google Chrome. We pay $55 a month or something for it. We do not get it for free. Marketplace fees, 512. No. But if you would like to sign up and get a discount, I think we have a link below. We do have a referral link. Yeah. 2058. Oh, God, the room is back. It's always bad. <laughs> this is the Eileen Fisher silk tank top. And it sold for $44.94 all in. Cost of goods was $6.59. It did sell promoted, ten forty two in fees and four twenty four in shipping. Twenty here here's something to see. Twenty three sixty nine. So this has an offer out on Poshmark, and so it will not delist. So what you have to do is go to Poshmark. I go down to the bottom to view listing. Then I go to edit listing, and I change the size. Aha. Most of the time this works. Sometimes you have to do it a couple times. Yeah. And then I update it and I list it again. All right. Okay. And I go back to Vendu and I go delist. And there it goes. Success. So if you get that red warning, you have to, or you'll mess up later in life. You'll sell that item again like we did. Yep. 2346. Look at this old guy. Oh, look at this guy. <clears throat> Okay, fifty four ninety four all in. Cost of goods was one oh one. 
marketplace fees, $12.56. It sold promoted and $4.31 to ship it. We made $37.06 on that guy. This is an error coming up from Facebook. I have since deleted all of the listings off Facebook. So I just go mark as not listed. Facebook was freaking me out. Yeah, don't like it. Six, eight, nine, three. Mark as sold. All in, thirty-one forty-five. Cost of goods was ninety-nine cents. The marketplace fees were not promoted, and the shipping was eight thirty. Seventeen ninety-eight profit on that bins. Western wear. Sixty-three oh five. Coldwater Creek, Marcus sold. $35.94 all in for Cheryl. Cost of goods, $0.46. Cents, $4.74 in fees. Thank you for not purchasing that promoted. It helps us a lot. $22.44. So if you go directly to our store and buy something rather than browsing and buying it, it doesn't sell promoted and that's really helpful. Five five eight four. Does that sound weird the way I just said that? I don't think so. I'm not telling you to go to our store. I'm saying if you want to buy something, <laughs> you can buy it promoted if you want to. I shouldn't say that. You can do whatever you want to. Okay, cost of goods ninety nine cents. Marketplace fees four seventeen and four twenty four. Twenty fifty nine on that tie. Nice. Come on. Oh my gosh, y'all! I'm so sorry real life here on the hustle couple channel <laughs> the vlog <laughs> if i've ever heard of one uh, okay <laughs> i'm just gonna keep working mark it please please 30 30 30 30 30 ah! it's coming to get us <laughs> All right. Um, all right, one more. Poshmark. One more. Poshmark. Come on, Poshmark. I do Poshmark on its own, so I don't. No, Mercari. I mean, Mercari, so I don't. See, I almost messed up. <coughs> Let's see how much we made on these. So I go to Mercari. Mark is sold. 150 It was a full asking price. Yes. Cost of goods, $13.05. Marketplace fees, $19.85. Already filled in. Shipping, zero. One seventeen ten on those babies. Oh, that's lovely. We just need, like, a few more of those to sell, and we'll be right in the game that's right all right let's see how much we made today let's see we go to this analytics tab here come on and we go to today Friday. yeah yeah, yeah. Woo, 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 yeah. Woo. Woo. <laughs> sorry 14 items sold today uh for 400 dollars profit that's what i'm talking about that really makes up for yesterday this is a very good profit revenue split it really is. That's really, really healthy. Sometimes this is not so great. The dang over 60-40 right there, just about. Yep, and then if we have, you know, once we get the sale going at 30% off, it's going to, this gap is going to widen a oh, lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But at least we'll be moving stuff. Month to date, we are at $5,478 profit. All right, that's respectable. It's going to be okay. We're going to be okay here, kids. We you, got this. You heard it here. We're going to be okay. <laughs> you guys, the Roomba left. And as soon as I hit record, it's coming. It's like, oh, the camera's on. I'm coming back. Uh, Wait, should you show them? We'll show you if it comes around the corner. Yeah, right. Thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you Monday. Bye. Bye.